Today we're talking about Orlando City Soccer and Steve Harwell from Smash Mouth. And is Generation Z changing how texts are sent? All this and more right here on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Tailani. We heard our co-hosts, Liana and Gia. Today is Wednesday, September 6, 2023. How are you guys doing this morning? Fine. Yeah, fine. That's all? Yeah. Nice. yeah. Nothing yeah. It's been your average day. Eighth graders have testing tomorrow. Sad. Yay. At least no. I don't have to take the back. <laughs> no, because that means all the eighth graders are going to be at third lunch at once. Oh, that's actually going to suck. That that's going to be happened. so fun. Guys. I, I thought it was already like that. No. No. It uh -oh. depends because sometimes there's six graders at lunch. Yeah, and yeah. also because like gym and stuff. Yeah. But guys, I don't have to take math, so I'm good. Mm, me too. Lucky. I only take ELA. You have to take math? Algebra 1. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty intelligent. I have honors. <laughs> um, but as always, uh, before we get to the stories, let's check out the weather for today. Steve Harwell, the co-founder and original lead singer of Smash Mouth, the late 90s California ska band known for its hits such as Walking on the Sun and the popular anthem All Star, you know, for Shrek. Um, yeah. Harwell died at Love his home Shrek. in Boise, Idaho, Idaho. It's, uh, exotic, on Monday. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the musician was in hospice care due to multiple health complications. He was 56. That's actually kind of young. Yeah, it kind of is. All right. Um, over the last decade, Harwell, who had a long struggled alcohol abuse and also suffered from a number of problems that impacted his motor function, speech, and memory, which began impacting his performances. By October 2021, after a concert in Bethel, New York, where the singer appeared to be intoxicated and threatened the audience members, he announced his retirement from Smash Mouth due to ongoing health issues. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Well, he's in a better place now, guys. Yeah, I hope, well, he's doing, I hope yeah. his family's doing okay, because I feel bad for he that. He has family? Yeah. Girl. Who doesn't have Sorry. family? Well, actually, a lot of people have family. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But um, Shrek, mm. like, it's not going to... Shrek is an original. We'll never forget. It will... Now, every time I watch Shrek, it's, like, not going to be the same. It's like, yeah. he's dead, and he's dead, and he's also dead. No, 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 no. I'm not saying, like... I mean, like... You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, for a lifestyle today, we're talking about Gen Zers changing how they text. Today, we're talking about the paragraph textures, just like Emmanuel Jameer, a sketch comedy content creator from New York, is a proud texter of the Paragraph Texter Club. You'll know Jameer has arrived at a group text when you receive long, big blocks of text. For him, sending jumbo text is about efficiency. Paragraphs make it easier for me to divulge information, he said 22-year-old Jameer. When I send paragraphs, I'm usually explaining something or trying to convey a thought. Plus, I don't want to blow up my friend's phones with multiple texts even though they don't really care, he said. Funnily enough, when it comes to incoming texts, he prefers to read single sentence messages. It just makes easier, it makes easier for me to receive information. Jameer isn't alone in his verbose texting style. Some of us, some of us just can't get with our thoughts down to a drip and prefer getting everything off our chest at once. If we're planning out a Friday night, we include all the details from the time, place, and dress code. If we're not in a heated conversation with a partner, expect a novel. Um, what is that? What is a paragraph texture? Like, you, you send, send a, 
you take you take a long a time texting, flight. but you have like a huge text. It's like a huge instead of just like like small messages at once. Yeah, and then you're just like, guess what? Okay, well, what if you have to ask somebody like go to the store? Do you like include in that text like, hey, can you go to the store? I need this, this, and that. Yes. Yeah, they add yeah. a lot of them. They add everything they want to say in the conversation to one big text. Yeah, so it's yeah. not that multiple um. texts. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the way my mom texts me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a huge blocky paragraph, like, oh, hi, my name's da da da. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and your mom's texting you how my name is? No, I, I, I don't like to strangers, like when she's trying to invite someone for a party. I like blowing up my friend's phone. It's kind of fun. Uh -oh. Me too. It's funny. Yeah. I don't do that with certain people because they don't like it. <laughs> mm. And I, I feel like I don't like bothering people that much. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. But well, yeah. for We're sport, pull what are we doing for sports today? Okay, so the Lions, the Lions were on the road on a, <laughs> the Lions were on the road for a second time this week. They played FC Cincinnati Saturday night at the TQL Stadium. The, the city would beat the Eastern Conference top team. Cincinnati, Cincinnati won to zero in the second half. And both teams became more physical with multiple fouls, four yellow cards, and one red card. Guys, what does that mean? Um, uh, um, yellow um, cards? Yellow ca cards? Oh, oh that's like a that. warning. That's a warning. Right? Oh. It, is it? Oh. Yeah. And a red card is an actual penalty, right? Okay. Yep, yep. Ooh, yep. Okay. Well, this was right. Okay, yeah, so the one red card went to Wilder Cartina, Cartina, who just came off a yellow card accumulation. Accum Right. Accumulation display. Accumulation. <laughs> Accumulation display. <laughs> the city would hold off Cincinnati down a man for the rest of the stop page time to secure a win and keep a clean sheet. Orlando City win, win gives FC Cincinnati their first home loss in the ML's regular season. The Lions moved into, into a tie for the second in the Eastern Conference with the New England Revolution. Wow. Um, that was a lot of shots. words. That's big a words. lot. That's a big lot. Words. Big words. Big words. I don't do good with big words. Um, okay. I'm sorry, but I didn't really get any of that. Yeah. Basically, they got a red, well, a yellow card as... Four <laughs> yellow cards, yeah. one red card. Um, and then... Does that, like, they affect won. the whole team? or just No, like just one, one person. person. Just, yeah, one person. just one person. Because they can well, get switched affect, out, right? Well, that kind of affects yeah. the team because they can't play the rest of the game. I think. If someone gets a penalty, they, like, get switched out with another player. Yeah. Well then, yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I don't play. I don't know what's. I don't, I don't play soccer or know. What I kind of pay attention to it. I don't. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to local. All right, local. NASA and Space at SpaceX's Crew Six spent around six months at the International Space Station after launching from Florida's Space Coast in March. Crew Six splashed down in a Crew Dragon spacecraft around 12:17 a.m. off the coast of Jacksonville. NASA officials said their contributions to the Crew 6's return comes just a little over a week after Crew 7 docked with the ISS. Crew 7 is planning to return sometime in the first quarter of next year. ISS will help NASA with future planned missions to the moon and beyond. Oh, cute. That's cool. Um, and that was when? What day was that? Oh, uh, March? I remember, it like, just says in March. It doesn't say, yeah, like, a recent specific though. day. March. Says in March, you know? How oh. far away is March? I mean, don't they say Well, Didn't they March say it happened? Five months away, right? Five Didn't March away? already hit? Wait, what month is March? Oh, uh, March. No, oh, it wait. already launched. No, fourth, third, March. third. So then they're. <laughs> but for what else? It's nice. What the Warrior updates for today? Let's check those out. Join the PTSA. PTSA is for parents, teachers, students, and grandparents, and community members. Membership is only $10. Adults can receive a discount card while supplies last. All student members will receive a fun pass when the school store opens. Parents and students, if you are interested in after-school tutoring, please scan the QR code on the screen to register. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Munoz. Although the year has just started, your books are on sale now. Don't forget to pre-order your yearbook and reserve your copy. You may purchase your yearbook by doing 
by going to Justin's or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Picture day will be Friday, September 29th. These are the pictures that will go in the yearbook, so be sure to look your best. That's about it for word updates. You guys excited for picture day? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I expected that. No. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to wear. After picture day? I'm just going to wear what I wear every guys. day. I think that'll look good. Yeah. Look yeah. Good. Be I'll yourself, look good. guys. Do you guys think it will be any of like the eighth grade quotes this year? Hopefully. Yes. Not. I don't want to do that. I know. But one of I want to be quoted. You want to be quoted? What, what's your quote going to be? Um, <laughs> I thought that was only for high school. No, no they, they did it like this year. Yeah. Um, no. But our reminders? Um, well, I can't read it back then. <laughs> All right, um, students, just a reminder to check in for the goals that you set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help you. And remember the tardy policy and the cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transitions, and get to class on time, and avoid those tard sweeps. Make sure to like, oh wait, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my bad. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all the SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success and engage in Excel and learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. We'll see you next time right here on the Brave Club. Toodles. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>